Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today we're gonna be playing with another fun deck to play, which many players hate for some reason. And it's gonna be the uh, Mortar Cycle, which also can be like called by some people a uh, Missile Cycle, because that's gonna be frankly our secondary win condition if we cannot break through with the Mortars, so yeah. That's gonna be it uh, from the intro, and my opponent will be Zeps with 10 mouse, and he will be going very aggressively right off the bat. I'm gonna try to defend this general actually, because yeah, he he's gonna be having a very good offense here. I'm gonna play a rolling scene, and I think I'm gonna be taking one hit. There we go. Unfortunately, take a hit, but I think. It's the best we could uh, possibly get from the starting play since I didn't know what my opponent is playing and yeah, this could have been obviously way worse so we're gonna absolutely take that and just reset the position. He's gonna be playing Mana Collector which is definitely not a play if you're playing Mana Collector behind the tower because I'm just getting a free missile and that's basically walking into my plan. This is a zero trade, so basically no one gets the advantage except me getting a ton of tower damage, which, uh, as you probably can see, is more more than one general hit, and I'm pretty happy about that. He's gonna be playing a flying robot here, so I'm gonna just play mortar on the opposite side to just pressure, force out some response, and since I'm still very high on mana, and he will have to spend some mana to react to this mortar. I'm very comfortable in this position right again. Uh, I'm gonna play Swordsman to actually protect my archer. So she can just whittle this uh, machine gun down. And our mortar is still on the opponent's tower, so... So far my opponent just playing into my plans. Very cool to see. I'm gonna actually play a fire time just to kite this Dark Knight. I'm gonna place Swordsman to further kite it. And uh, right now I think I'm gonna just play a mortar with uh, all the stuff we have on the right side, even though we have the damage on the left side, I'm pretty happy with the uh, commitment that we forced uh, my opponent uh, right here, because he was pretty much already threatening to, uh, I mean, we forced out a 10 mana response, uh, even 11, because Funking actually costs 5 mana, so that was a pretty decent achievement. We're gonna cycle more archers, because so far they're just uh, paying uh, for themselves very well. I'm gonna play Swordsman here to just stop this Dark Knight. Actually, it jumps, which is very surprising and concerning. I'm gonna play another Mortal just to get some damage, and my opponent uh, fails to stop it. I'm gonna actually uh, get this machine gun with a uh, with a tower as well because my opponent just allowed me to do so. And I think this Mortal will be actually sufficient to yep finish down the game, so pretty simple game number one, obviously not ended in three minutes, but yeah, what can you ask for more? Very clean gameplay, let's jump to game number two. And the next game will be against a player with 40 medals who's gonna be called Rizlern, and uh, this word doesn't function in my dictionary, I've heard it on the internet, but I still don't know the meaning of it. Maybe you can guys tell me in the comments what does that mean, hopefully it's not something offensive, because we have a couple of dolls in the boom arena, unfortunately. Kinda state of the game right now, we're gonna play far tiny just to pressure and force out the response, apparently we don't get any response and that's absolutely fine for me as well, because that means we're getting damage, and uh, obviously damage is good. We're gonna get a swordsman to get this piercing archer, I actually should have played far tiny, so that this bomb skeleton can get kited uh, by the skeletons, and um, yeah, obviously that would have been a better play, but I didn't uh, see that we we're gonna actually get it as a next card, so kinda waste a swordsman here. Won't be too big of a deal, because we are pretty much uh, under no threat, and uh, we had to waste our mortar for defense anyway, we're gonna just play both our tinies, basically to get some damage, my opponent is absolutely blissfully unaware that it's absolutely fine for us to just cycle tinies and do nothing, uh, and if I were to continue this trend, I would be absolutely happy about that, I'm gonna play swordsman against the steel hammer, because apparently against steel hammer 
we have only we have only two gold counters. I mean, we can kite it with tiny, but like it's it's very lame and unnecessary. We're gonna get a counter against this boom skeleton, and uh, once it pops, I'm gonna just play immortal, regardless of him playing super eight or not. There we go. We're gonna get a mortar, and yeah, there, now we're gonna get a skeletons. I'm gonna get a far tiny to just counter this. And our motor should be able to get uh, even one more shot, so that's why it's gonna be playing a, um, a mortar. I'm gonna get a rolling steel against this uh, bomb girl, because frankly it's the way to go. I'm gonna get a swordsman just to tank for the mortar, so that steel hammer won't kill it. And actually my opponent just resigns, so I'm gonna not waste your time, it's gonna be a 3 star, let's jump to game number 3. And the next opponent of today's video will be Lucky Pookie with zero melos. Obviously, very terrifying opponent, but still, you'll have to at least pay some respect to him because he goes very aggressively, and that's usually what catches people off guard. Even though this play wasn't good from him, I didn't play the perfect defense as well, so we kinda tried it evenly. But still, somehow, some way, I'm getting the hit on his uh, tower, which is. I would say rather concerning because he shouldn't be taking it, but at the same time like, what do I know about this game? This mortar is on the tower, so at least one more hit we get, there we go, unless he like wants to spend his flying bomb to protect it, it's usually not worth it, even though it's a uh, cycle matchup, you don't want to like waste that much mana in single mana, actually I should have delayed this rolling steel even more, that was a bad play out of me. Apologize for that because that was just not a good example. Also, my fire time not only just dealt a lot of damage, it also was it also was facilitating the uh, archer. So he plays a he actually gets a very aggressive for absolutely no reason. This running still this time is too late, so this super ape will get two hits. Nothing to be worried, we are actually still in the damage lead because my opponent to make this push sacrificed like the entire mortar lock and that's definitely uh, not worth it. Probably I should have just played a missile on this defense but uh, I didn't because uh, I'm greedy sometimes. I'm gonna play another mortar, another fire turn and he's not re he's responding to neither which is like I've said very concerning. I'm gonna split archers and I believe I'm gonna see the resignation uh, anytime now, like, it's just coming, and I already can see it. I'm gonna play Swordsman, because why not, and yeah, my opponent is just not responding to uh, my plays, which is usually the sign of the end of the game, so yeah, let's just jump to the game number 4, and that's gonna be 3 star. And the next game will be against Chivache, which is actually 3.6k uh, player. He actually surpassed me on the leaderboards in this season since I didn't like put uh, a huge grind. Still a quite of achievement for him. We're gonna play Mortal just to force out something. On the opposite side, he plays a the Twins, which is absolutely valid play in this position. I'm gonna play just Rolling Steel to get even more value out of my uh, things on the board. He's gonna get a ghost, which is absolutely uh, fine play. I'm gonna play Ice Tiny to fully counter it, and I'm gonna just cycle back uh, to the archers. So, he's obviously gonna play Viking Burst Spam. I'm absolutely not surprised by that, because all he does pretty much on ladder is playing Viking Burst Spam. So right now he's gonna play Viking uh, into my uh, Mortar, and that poison is definitely 100% a overcommitment. I'm gonna play Skeletons here to just distract, distract his uh, Viking for as long as it's physically possible. I'm gonna play Ice Tiny and that should be a dead Viking, so I would love this Viking not to hit my Swordsman and okay, it's gonna actually receive a hit, so I'm gonna just play Mortar very quickly and apply even more pressure. Let's see what will happen next. I would love to get the hit on this piercing archer, and I do. That's also very cute. I think I'm gonna actually play a swordsman against this ghost, because actually why not? He's not having piercing archer, so he should not be able to do any shenanigans at the bridge. I'm gonna play far tiny just to tank for the swordsman for a bit. 
to make this play more annoying, uh, he's gonna eat a far tiny into his Necromancer's face, and I'm absolutely okay with that. I'm gonna split archers, take no damage from this uh, from this ape, playing ice tiny, and he actually play. Wow! 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 I absolutely don't know what happened here, but uh, it was nothing good. Let me tell you that much. Uh, right now, okay, it's not gonna work out in my way. Fortunately, doesn't really matter because I absolutely can counter this <laughs> this push. Actually, we've uh, gotten away with a pretty good defense right now. I think all I have to do is just not choke and we should be uh, good to go. I'm gonna play a far tiny just to pressure. Uh, he's gonna play increasing archer very far away from his viking which uh, well, is pretty much expected. At the same time I'm gonna play ice tiny, I'm gonna play a rolling steel now. I've wasted all of my stun cards which is usually not good uh, sign so I'm gonna just play an iron mortar and he's actually doing a pretty decent job at uh, blocking my mortars at all times. And that's why I'm gonna just play a missile on his tower, because I don't think he has a uh, good plan of uh, stopping me from doing so. So, first missile went down, I'm gonna play archers, uh, this ape will be very infuriating, so I'm gonna just play mortal on defense. I'm gonna play a swordsman, he's gonna actually get a lightning down, which is very threatening. But at the same time, I can play a missile in a second, so it's gonna be absolutely fine for me. I'm gonna play missile right now, and I think I can actually cycle to one more missile. He absolutely misses the poison on, uh, on my thingy. Swordsman will take care of it, and actually, I'm not gonna be able to cycle to another missile, which will be very bad if he if he gets lightning. Oh my god, GG's, he got it last second. Very bad ending, honestly. I would love to get a missile down, and actually, I probably shouldn't like defend my uh, like his twins with the mortar. Probably I should have just used cheaper cards because if I were to use two less mana, I would definitely uh, gotten a missile on his tower. So definitely not good play by me at the end. And he actually surprised me with this lightning, like so many big spells, and uh, yeah, I don't think, I actually think it's still good matchup, but I just choked it, so yeah. Let's stop yapping about it and jump to the game number 5. And we're gonna actually get a rematch at the end of the video, very cool to see, I'm gonna play Mortar first play, because why not, if he plays Piercing Archer, I'm gonna play Fire Tiny, okay, actually that doesn't kill, I would love to have a Rolling Steel here. But I didn't, so that's gonna suck a bit. I'm gonna play Swordsman just to protect my Mortar. I believe he's gonna actually get one more shot, so that's gonna be a very cool thing. And right now he's gonna play Necromancer, so I have to get this missile down. Because if I don't, it's gonna be very bad uh, stuff for me. Fortunately I do, and we're gonna pretty much get a flawless early game. If I can say so. I'm gonna actually get a very high Mortar. Let's just see. He should... Okay, he actually blocks it. I'm actually impressed that he blocked this... This hit, because I didn't expect him to. That's uh, for sure. I'm gonna get the archers uh, kiting right off the bat, so that his viking cannot, like, get a free brain on my tower. And I'm gonna get a mortar instantly, because he doesn't have a good cards to stop it. And yeah, here comes the mortar. I'm gonna get one hit. Soon to be two, and he actually gets a Necromancer, which is like I, like I usually say, very interesting. I'm gonna get a Rolling Steel on this ghost, so it gets a fully countered, and this Necromancer shouldn't be able to hit my tower once anyway. So a very clean offense in single mana. I believe uh, my chances of winning are way better in single mana. Just I didn't recognize his matchup uh, previously. Um, obviously, I didn't know that he had lightning as well, which is very bizarre pick. Usually, if uh, if uh, an opponent just plays one big spell, he doesn't play the second one, so very bizarre right here. I'm gonna play Mortar here, and he, he plays, whoever decides to play Piercing Archer, gonna actually predict it here. Uh, okay, I, I predicted it, but it wasn't enough, he still gets a, a hit. 
sometimes happens. We're gonna surround this ghost uh, with my skeletons. I think I still need a tiny to finish it off, so I'm gonna just play Mortar. Uh, right now we pretty much uh, just have to defend and uh, if we do, we're gonna secure the win. Uh, yeah, this, these twins are down, very cool to see. Uh, I don't think I don't I have to play something else anyway. Uh, I'm gonna play missile. He got a lot of damage with his spells, but I don't think it was uh, sufficient for him because right now I can just throw a spell. I'm gonna play swordsman here. Uh, split his forces. I'm gonna play some archers as well, and he's gonna get one ape, which is something, but definitely not enough. I at least I hope. I'm gonna get a swordsman here. I'm gonna get a missile down, and he actually gets very close uh, to beating me, but I think it's just a matter of... Not not even time. I'm gonna absolutely crush it. Okay, I'm gonna play Rolling Steel just to kill the Piercing Archer, but... <coughs> as you probably know. Better safe than sorry. And with this missile we're gonna just end this game, so... Very nice game number 5, just to end this video against... <laughs> I would say very... Very interesting matchup, usually if you are playing a missile you have the spell cycle advantage, but Chivache is playing two big spells, so if you are not careful you can run into a big of trouble. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video, thank you for watching till the end and uh, I hope you enjoyed my video, I've played some mortar cycle today, probably you can uh, like rewatch this replay and uh, learn something from it and implement some things into your own gameplay and if you do definitely go subscribe to my youtube channel because i post boom arena content every single day so you definitely can learn something from what i do on the daily basis so yeah thank you for watching make sure to subscribe and i'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of boom arena